Welcome to Ballroom 23, my YouTube channel. This is going to be a thread response. My first thread response. Fourth video, actually. So my first video response. And this thread was started by Big Star 1000. And um, it goes like this. Pick one record for each letter of the alphabet in your collection. And this will somehow give you an idea of what each of our collections represent or something like that. Anyway, let's get started. Ashra Temple, New Age of Earth. One of two Ashra Temple records I have on vinyl. Love it. A lot of uh, synthesizers and sequencers and guitars. And proto, proto techno music, I guess. Big Youth. Dreadlocks Dread. Amazing reggae record. The Mighty Can. Eggy Bamyazi. I guess you could pick pick any can record and couldn't go wrong with it. That's the first can record I bought. And so it has a special place in my heart. Bob Dylan, bringing it all back home. Amazing record. One of my favorites. Brian Eno, Taking Tiger Mountain by Strategy. One of the few Brian Eno records I own on vinyl. I'd have to say uh, Music for Airports is probably one of my favorites. Taking Tiger Mountain is pretty groovy. John Fahey, The Dance of Death and Other Plantation Favorites. One of my favorite John Fahey LPs. Well, I'm probably leaving, I'm leaving out a lot of my favorite artists, but um, I picked this pretty pretty quickly. Gang of Four, Solid Gold. Lee Hazelwood, Cowboy in Sweden. Incredible String Band, The Hangman's Beautiful Daughter, Jesus and Mary Chain, Psycho Candy, The Kinks, The Kink Controversy. Love, the Capo, one of the first love records I ever owned. My Bloody Valentine, isn't anything. Third Kraut Rock record to be shown, Noi's first record. This is my favorite Noi record. I own all three. Well, actually, there's a fourth one, but I haven't, I'm not going to talk about that one. Love this record. Love it. Noise 75 is good, but the first Noise record's better. Carl Orff, Street Song. Gassenhauer, you probably heard Gassenhauer. It's called Street Song. Uh, Karl Orff also is famous for uh, the Carmina Burana. If you didn't know that already. Pink Floyd. Metal. Queen. 
News of the World. Such a good record. Such a good record. Radiohead. This is another tough decision, but I just picked Kid A. Love Kid A. Sonic Youth, Sister. Fantastic Sonic Youth record. We have many amazing records. Although I have to say I'm more I'm more partial to their uh, 80s period and 90s, early 90s. Talking Heads remain in light. One of a uh, very influential record on me. Maybe one of the one of the records I heard back in high school that made me want to play guitar. But um, yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that. I'm going to get back into the, the records. Undertones. Their first record. Going to represent the punk. Gang of Four represented the post-punk stuff. Another personal favorite, Vashti Bunyan. Just another Diamond Day. West Coast Pop Art Experimental Band, Volume 3. A Child's Guide to Good and Evil. Good. XTC, the Black Sea. You may have also seen a version that looks like this. Let's put it back. See. Fantastic XTC record. A lot of what they do is pretty, pretty awesome. <laughs> Neil Young on the beach. I think I probably would have put uh, Russ Never Sleeps too, but um, what can I say? I've been listening to a lot of uh, On the Beach lately. And a Zombies record. Love the zombies. Wonderful, wonderful group. Okay, well that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed my responses. Please leave me some comments. And, um, yeah, that's it. Alright, have a nice day. Thanks.